The economic crisis in Ecuador has dealt a heavier blow to the most disadvantaged sectors unable to make a living. Meanwhile, the Lenin Moreno government claims its economic policies are softening the blow. Our correspondent Denise Herrera has the story. With the end of the state of emergency, Ecuador began the so-called new normality. Meanwhile, the economic situation remains a problem for the majority of Ecuadorians that believe that the government has had a poor performance in this matter. Nobody has helped us and nobody has helped us here in our neighborhood. I have kept this business for 15 years with the little money I saved. Now it's only enough for rent, water and electricity. Maria Dolores Laundromat is located in Foch Street in Quito, one of the busiest and more touristic points in the capital. Now its empty streets and closed shops are part of the new normality. They are not going to help us even if they say they will, so we have to survive with what we can. The finance authorities have said that during the emergency, 19,785 shops have been created through the sign financing system. However, the reality on the street is quite different. The truth is that we have felt alone because we have been working with each other, but we have not seen the authorities trying to help in the situation at this moment, in this pandemic, in these bars, in this small business that fight to survive every day. As you see, there are not many people in the area and still we are still in business. We try to do our best and we are waiting this situation to improve. We can get out of all this. The government's strategy has been to keep up with multilateral organizations debt payment. According to the authorities, the financial relief generated by the debt strategy totals more than 4,000 million U.S. dollars for 2020 and 2021. However, workers keep protesting against the unpaid work, the closure of public companies and dismissal of thousands of workers and teachers during the pandemic that has left more than 1 million people unemployed in the country. Denise Herrera, Telesur Quito, Ecuador.